diameter. Also, we can use the vernier curly part to measure the internal diameter of an object. And these are the jaws we use for the internal diameter. We use this for external diameter, we use this for length, we use this for depth, inner depth of, a, of an hollow object, and we use this for the internal diameter of a hollow object. Let's take that, take this off. Okay, it's the same process. Let me open this sack and close the door. Now I put this in here and I will slide this out till I can no longer slide it. Okay? Till I can no longer slide it. Now I will lock this hole and then flipping out the object. That's all. You can read the lens yourself. I've closed the screw so it can no longer slide. What length do you see? Let's look at it together. This is zero. This is zero. This is one. One point watts. Let's avoid parallel error by viewing it from the top. 0, 1, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. Do you have 1.5? We have 1.5. Good. We have up to 1.5. So, 1.5. Now, this is point 0 on the venial scale. Let's come and check our value on the venial scale. 0. No, one, very close, no, one, five, could it be this? Let's look at two. Two has shifted. It's one, five, one, five, good. So, what's our value? We have one point five. 1.5 watts, 1.5, 1, is it 1.5 one or 2? Let's see, 1, 1.5, one 2, I think 2 is better, 2, it's 2, 1.5, 2, 1.5, 2, 1, point watts, you pick our point from here, 5, which is the decimal point before touching the 0, 1, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.5 watts, 1.52 centimeters. That is the length. That is the internal diameter of this object. Okay? So those are the applications of the vernier caliper. To measure internal diameter, external diameter, length and the depth of an object. The next lesson we talk about the micrometer screw gauge.